Erev Tov Chavrim. I'm Stephen Bernoun. You're watching Israeli News Live, and we are got some very serious news going on all over uh, the place right now. Uh, all the way starting down in Syria here, according to Gazeta.ru, uh, the Russian newspaper here, source here on your screen and behind you here, uh, all the way up into Poland, uh, across the United States, over in Russia itself. Breaking news is happening rapidly everywhere, and I wanted to get you right up to speed on what's going on. Uh, Gazetta.ru is reporting that Russia, along with uh, the Peter the Great, and the article right here in the Russian language here, is, a, is poised to start attacks on Aleppo in the morning, but they're not gonna be hitting inside of the city itself where the civilians are, but uh, attacking with cruise missiles the surrounding areas outside where al-Nusra and other uh, U.S.-backed uh, forces are to take them out and to slow down the, the progress so that the Syrian army can finally retake Aleppo. Now, while this is all happening, and of course we know that Russia's uh, uh, northern fleet is now down in Syria, we find out, according to a very interesting uh, uh, report here by Freedom Outpost, uh, says that Russia's power station, speaking about the Russian power station explosion, is in the naval base region. Helicopters are landing on Moscow streets. Dead man found at a Russian consulate in New York is, is the title of the article. But what I'm most interested in is what he actually says here. He says, on the heels of a previous announce pre-positioning of the cyber warfare assets last week and some 300,000 NATO troops preparing for battle in Europe, we learned this morning from RT that a massive blast at an electrical substation in Muramansk, uh, Russia, has left part of the region without power. What makes this, according to the article's, uh, um, the, the, the editor of the article here, makes this outrageous, particularly interesting, is that Muramansk is the main administrator administrative base for the entire northern Russian fleet. This is, is, as they say in one part of the article, this is so odd, it's either majorly uh, coincidental or there is something going on. It says the northern Russian port city of Murmansk, with a population of 300,000, has been partly left without electricity following an emergency uh, at an energy facility, eyewitnesses captured a bright flash after which the lights went out. Um, what's going on? We don't know for sure yet, but uh, it may have something to do with the promised uh, retaliatory measures that President, Vice President Joe Biden promised Russia uh, in response to what they're saying is blaming the WikiLeaks information about Hillary Clinton on Russia. And they seem to indicate that it would be coming right about Election Day, which is, of course, today. Also, Sputnik News as well is reporting Russia aircraft carrier group prepares strike on terrorists in Aleppo province and will be doing it within 24 hours. And that's when that was published earlier today, uh, or this evening, actually, right around uh, 8 p.m. Now, it gets only worse, guys. I also got some information here from our good friend here uh, on Twitter. He's showing that the biggest U.S. Army-run shipment of ammo arrives to Germany in two decades with 600-plus containers ammunition 600 containers i'm sure that includes grad uh, missiles etc uh, uh, tank missiles but not only that here comes the big one for for us as well poland massive troop movement is going on this has been happening just within the last couple of hours right here you can see this on your screen here uh, just have to thank already happened for getting this up here. He's always kind enough to let us know what's happening, what's going on. And that's only one. Check out this one here on your screen here. My gosh, I mean, every kind of equipment you can possibly imagine. Tanks lined up already on the trains and as far as the eye can see in these photo images here. Loaded up, ready and going and rolling towards the front lines. I'm Stephen Benoon. It's getting really serious. You're watching Israeli News Live. I can't help but wonder. They probably know Hillary's going into uh, to be president. 
Putin said, if Hillary became president, we're probably looking at the World War III. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, Erev Tov, Aval, Ein Shalom, but there is no peace.